Dear Heavenly Father, our Abba Father, we thank you most high. We lift you up and we exalt you. And Heavenly Father, we place you above all things and put no other thing before you. We come to you today in humble adoration for this prayer, asking Heavenly Father that you would hear our cry, hear our plea, hear our petition, hear our faith, hear our Heavenly Father, our trust in you and your word. As we come and intercede on behalf of the males in our family, whether it be a spouse, a son, a brother, a cousin, an uncle, a grandfather, we know that the males in any family is what carries the lineage, the generations, Heavenly Father. And we know, Father, that because of this, the attack on them is heavy, Lord, because the enemy doesn't want men of God to prosper. He wants men to utterly fail for his kingdom. But we come, Heavenly Father, in intercession with our faith and with our prayers, because you've said in the word that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So we come with that confidence, knowing that what we pray for we believe it, and because we believe it, you shall grant us the petition of our desires today, on this day, in every day that we lift up a prayer to you. So I come, Heavenly Father, knowing what power and authority you have given us in your kingdom through your Son in us and through the power of your Holy Spirit manifesting in this hour as Christ is manifesting himself through your chosen vessels, Father. I come to you and I take full jurisdiction over every territory, over every possession of land that you have allotted to me in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion it has been given to me. I come with the heavenly dominion of the kingdom, Heavenly Father, the kingdom of heaven, to tear down the altars set up and erected against every male in any family of any person who comes across this video with the key of David. And by the sound of my voice, I emit the frequency of a higher, his voice voice the roaring of the lion of Judah we come against Satan we come against every foul spirit every demonic entity working day and night without relent to come against anyone in the household Heavenly Father especially the called and the chosen and those that you know who are going to answer the calls those who are stuck in between the rock and the hard place right now trying to find their way those who are fighting with the devil because they know they have purpose and they're trying to come out of their sin but the devil is trying to clutch them in a place of stagnation with the key of David and by the sound of my voice I shatter that shackle right now and command the devil to release them now because what we speak in the authority of Christ the devil has to loose because it is written in Matthew in the book of Matthew chapter 16 in 19 for Matthew 18 and 18 Luke 10 and 19 we decree it by the power of the blood that what we speak in faith by the authority and our belief in the words because we know our father heareth us that what we speak to the enemy he must obey we command satan to obey now in jesus holy name yeshia hamashir by the power of his blood and his manifested presence we rebuke every demonic presence operating in the lives of our spouses sons brothers cousins uncles grandfathers brother-in-laws fathers whatever they are to us heavenly father brothers in christ we command these demons and the devil himself to loose them now in jesus holy name Remo remove your hands from their destiny you have no power and no authority over it because we come with the power of the blood that has made remission for our sin and interceded for us on the cross. And we bring the finished work of Yeshia HaMashiach to the very situations where the enemy is placing temptation before men, Heavenly Father, causing the defilement in their mind, causing the defilement of their hands, Heavenly Father, 
sexual immorality we rebuke it and cast it down in Jesus holy name we rebuke and break the curse of sodomy over our men in Jesus holy name by the authority of Christ be broken now may the power of the Holy Spirit rush into the body of every male to preserve that sacred seed that has been given them appointed and anointed to them according to the scripture in the book of first John that the anointing the sacred appointment and the unction which we have received from holy Ashia, it abides in them and us permanently and all men all human beings it abides in us so that we have no need that anyone should instruct us but just as his anointing teaches us concerning everything that is true it is of no falsehood so we must abide and live in him and never depart from him, being rooted in him, holy Yeshua, being knit to him, just as his anointing has taught us to do. So I claim that the men, the males in all households will begin to have the scales removed from their eyes, they, that they will begin to cleave to holy Yeshua, that a cord of three strands is not easily broken, that the relationship between them, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit will be reconnected that it will be reformed that it will be transformed that it will be rekindled where there is doubt where there is fear of letting go and surrendering to the will of Yah where there is great deception placed upon the men where they cannot show emotion where they cannot find that that heart of flesh we rebuke that lie in Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach's holy name. It is torn down now. Every altar of of defiling blood that Satan has used as a generational curse to keep the men from teaching their sons the way of the Lord. We strip that altar right now of its defilement. The blood of Yeshua Hamashiach overcomes it. It washes it. It purifies every name written on it and removes it because that is what the power of the blood does it cleanses it purifies it atones heavenly father we ask your forgiveness for every sin known and unknown that has been committed by any male heavenly father because we already know lord that you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and cleanse us of all unrighteousness if we confess so i pray right now that the holy spirit is moving into the body into the mind into the brain because the brain is the throne of yah this is where all things start because this is the womb in all humans but especially in males this is where the conception begins the thought conceives the thought is the seed and we just decree that the Holy Spirit will begin to place the seeds of holiness and righteousness of surrender to the Lord the yearning and the desire to know what the will of God is for their life so that they may act upon it so that they may begin to pursue it relentlessly and I decree and I make the declaration according to Job 22 and 28 that in the day you shall decree a thing it shall be established that the very second that they begin to pursue it that the power of the relationship with Christ and the anointing that is placed in them and upon them through the Holy Spirit will be magnified a thousand times greater than what it was when they were in their sinful state it shall overtake the kingdom of darkness like a whirlwind it shall rush to the territory and the altars and the high places that the enemy has set up and devour them as a roaring lion because they have come into the know of their rightful position in the kingdom they have come to the place of understanding of how delicate their bodies are they have come to the knowledge even more so of what the devices of the enemy are against them and they shall prevail against it they shall call out the enemy in his plot and say no more in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach they shall be raised up into their rightful place and they shall crush the head of the serpent they shall become new in Christ because that is the decree that has gone forth today I pray this Heavenly Father over their uh, reproductive area because this is where the lower frequencies abide and this is where the enemy wants to keep men thinking with their flesh and not with their God-given Christ-like mind not with their spirit not with 
the unction of the Lord, but with their flesh so that Satan could continue to be fed. But we starve you out today in the name of Yeshua Hamashir. We decree that your plans will no longer work and they are rendered powerless, null and void by the blood of Yeshua Hamashir in his powerful name. You are conquered and set to destruction, Satan, in the name of Yeshua Hamashir. We rebuke you as Archangel Michael said to you as you disputed over the body of Moses, the Lord rebuke you because it does not belong to you. Their bodies, their temples is the sanctuary of the Lord and it will be made holy. It will be made righteous. It will be cleansed. Holy Ashiah will turn over the tables inside of them. He will turn it over. He will reconstruct everything that has been hit with your destruction and he will make it new he will make it as it's never been and he will make it for his glory and the glory of the lord will arise in them and they will be powerful mighty men in the land they will repossess and take over their land by force in the name of jesus i prophesy it i prophesy it in yeshua hamashiach's holy name that every male that is being interceded for by any person praying for them when they come across the this prayer that whatever they speak over their mill for the glory of Yah, it shall stand and it shall prosper. It will immediately take root in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashir. There will be no hindrance of it. There will be no power in hell that can stop it. There will be no power in hell that can come against the momentum and the acceleration that's going to be given to the men that are being prayed for. These prayers are covering them like the anointing oil of the Holy Spirit. It is permeating their flesh. It is permeating their heart. It is permeating their mind. It is infiltrating the sin and it is commanding that the demons be moved in Yeshua Hamashiach's holy name. The prayer is commanding that the Goliaths right now, that the Jezebel, that the mountains that all enemies no matter what rank they are in the spiritual realm in the dark realm whether they be fallen angels archon demons whether they be minions sent by the enemy we command right now that every minion every dark demonic entity sent on assignment to bring destruction to our males we command you right now to turn and go back to your strong man and attack them in jesus holy name you cannot resist the power of Yeshua HaMashiach because we know the authority that has been given unto us. We use it with faith and confidence and I seal this prayer powerfully in the blood of the Lamb that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. It is done and it is so and may the name of the Lord be glorified. May every thing that is spoken be established in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah and Amen.